And we were looking for the structures and the procedures and the forms of organization that seemed to tell the difference between the winners and the losers. Instead of that, what we found were pink balloons. And let me tell you what's gone on. In the last two years in particular, since the book came out, we've changed our focus. Those of you who have read it will remember the focus on the IBMs, the Hewlett Packards, the Wang Labs, the organizations and the industries that have a pretty strong tailwind behind them and apparently a God-given 20% a year growth rate. Well, we've changed our focus to the places where it can't be done, to places in the public sector as well as the private to the beaten and the battered industries as well as those that have the tailwind behind them. And that's where I really want to start. And I want to start with this rather unprepossessing looking fella who's pictured up here. He is the chief executive officer of a 900,000 person organization, otherwise known as the city of Baltimore. And this, of course, is Mayor William Donald Schaefer. Twelve years ago when he took office, Baltimore was nothing to write home about, to put it mildly. And that's not the smart aleck comment of a contented Northern Californian. It's the comment of a native Baltimorean, which I happen to be. Today, Baltimore is an exciting city, a vital city. Business government relationships there are probably as good as they are in any other part of the country. And what's it come from? It comes in part from pink balloons. Naturally enough, this took place on Think Pink Day in Baltimore last year. That was the day the median strips of all the highways were painted pink and pink balloons were hung from all the lampposts. That pales by comparison, however, with Mayor Schaefer's Valentine's Day shenanigans for the last two years. Now, for those of you who think about selling things and marketing things, think about this and also remember the public sector context. For the last two years, Mayor Schaefer has sold the citizens of Baltimore potholes for Valentine's Day. <laughs> for 35 bucks, five bucks for senior citizens, you buy a pothole, they patch your pothole, they paint a valentine on your patched pothole, they photograph your patched pothole with valentine affixed to it, place that photograph on a card, and naturally enough, along with a pothole patch doll, send it to the loved one of your choice. <laughs> now, we all know about departments of strategic planning and the like. Naturally enough, all of this activity comes out of Mayor Schaefer's Office of Adventures in Fun. <laughs> well, this is doubtless a group of pragmatic people, and so you want to know what happens. Does it work? I can give you at least one statistic. In Mayor Schaefer's last run for the mayoralty, against a terribly talented candidate. He was able to squeak by with 94% of the vote, and he won every single ward in the city.